Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. It's your girl, Savannah Smiles. So today's video, I'm not sure what we're gonna talk about, but this is a get ready with me. For those of you who aren't familiar with my get ready with me, we are going to be talking about something during this while I also show you my skincare. So let's get right into it. Let me grab my stuff. Okay. All right, so I got all my skincare products right here and let's jump right into it. I'm really excited to be double masking today. I've been a little out of doing my skincare routine. I've been a little anxious and a little down. I think it's just not having the same mobility as I was used to pre my surgery. I'm, I think it's just hard for me as a person to not be able to drive myself and to be as self-sufficient as I'm used to. As a person, I'd like to be very independent and now needing to rely on other people to even like Go get food it has been a little rough on me. I'm excited to get back into the skincare, start doing some of my self care, and taking just <laughs> care of my skin again. So let's get right into it. I'm sorry, I still don't know how to figure out doing this without the mic kind of being in frame here, and right now it's right there. Um, I want to make sure the audio quality is there though. You know what? Let me try. It. There we go. Maybe then I can do that and just like swap it. I'd be worried about having like mics attached to me for washing my face. That seems a little dangerous. So you guys might have noticed I have my AirPods in and that is because I wear my AirPods while doing literally everything. Just got out of the shower and oh look, AirPod. Getting ready for bed and AirPod. Doing laundry and AirPod. Dyeing my hair. Oh wow, what could be? AirPod. Taking a break from cooking, what could it be? Credit card. I just recorded like what my skincare products are and I'm hoping to interject that. So the first thing I am using is this Skin Magician Squeaky Clean Foaming Cleanser. Next I'm going to use my facial brush to help cleanse the skin and just clean in everywhere better. It's really great for removing dead layers of skin and just cleaning your pores further. Oh, so something I get asked a lot in regards to Graham and I is like, okay, how do you split up your time? And uh, what do you guys do when you're not working? Because I think Graham and I work a lot in the day. I do probably work a little bit less than he does because I do other things like skincare stuff that can take a while. Of course, right now, I'm monetizing it. Graham and I watch TV. Uh, that's what we do in our free time. Recently, we've been watching you. I've already seen you, but he has not. And we're on the second season and um, spoilers here. I'm like maybe muted for the next few seconds. I don't know. So we're watching you and we're at the part where love reveals that she is pregnant. And Graham's just like, what the heck? And I was like, this is why I said we didn't have to watch the second season. Uh, you can unmute now. <laughs> Usually we watch shows that one of us hasn't seen or if it's like a really good show, we'll watch it again. Like, we rewatched Dexter. Uh, well, I rewatched Dexter. He hadn't seen Dexter before. I got soap in my eye. But that's something that we do a lot in our spare time that we don't really talk about and I don't really show in vlogs just because, A, who wants to watch somebody vlog like them watching TV? There we go. I have soap in my eye. Since that is done, we are gonna be moving on to my toner. I personally don't recommend this toner. It's kind of just meh but here is that toner. I've seen comments where people are like, how did your move to Vegas affect your relationship? And I can do a full video on this, by the way, instead of just talking about it in the middle of a get ready with me video. It definitely did have an effect on our relationship. I'd say for the most part, it's not like a good or bad effect. I think in some ways we've grown closer. Okay, really quick, let's move on to this next item. Since my skin is clean. Since our skin is all clean, we are gonna be using the Peter Thomas Roth Pumpkin Enzyme Mask, which helps just smooth the look of skin and clarify the skin by removing dead skin cells. In some ways, like, it's been great. I feel like I see a little bit more of him. We have a little bit more to do out here, which some of that is just because LA has been so locked down. We see a lot more people, and I feel like we have more friends here than we did in LA. As weird as that is, a uh, lot more people to hang out with. So I think in that way, it's kind of had a positive effect because there's some more time that is spent together. But I also feel sometimes like we have so many friends out here, and this is not to complain to anyone that is a friend of ours out here, but <laughs> sometimes it can be a little overwhelming because I know like even coming up here after my surgery, I couldn't cook anyways, so it was fine. But it did get a little overwhelming that every single night for two weeks, every single night except for 
one or two of those nights we had plans and uh, that gets a little exhausting for me I but I think sometimes like we get too busy up here we spend more time together but then also at the same time we don't because we don't get like a lot of time to be a couple if that makes sense which it isn't bad I love having friends up here but it's just definitely an adjustment well I look like I got a really weird bad spray tan on my face I think where the biggest stress on this for me is that I now I'm living further away from my family than I ever wanted to especially because I can't drive right now because I'm still recovering from surgery that part's been really rough on me I finally saw my parents last Saturday and I need dates, hold on. I finally saw my parents on the 24th, but I hadn't seen them since Easter on the 5th. And that was the longest I've ever gone without seeing my parents, which was like two and a half weeks. And Bailey was so sad and she wants to try to eat mom's face mask. No, 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 no. Okay, I'm gonna give you some kisses and put you down. Yeah, so I think that that part has been really hard on me. I've always been really close with my family and I know some people aren't, but I am. And I've always liked being close to my family. I've been trying to get my family out here to come visit me and uh, it's just hard for them because there's four people to coordinate with versus my one schedule but I can't get myself anywhere. In terms of this though there's like I wouldn't change it. I like being out here. It's nice but there are definitely some drawbacks. So now that that is off, we are gonna be using the Odafix mask from Lush. This is one of my favorite face masks and it's really good at just hydrating the skin, which we're out in the desert, so my skin needs plenty of help with. By the way, if you want me to do a full video on what I just talked about, because I was just kind of me spitballing random facts, let me know, and I will do that definitely. Okay, you know what? Let's talk about something that's not gram related and my relationship in Las Vegas. I feel like every single one of these is. For those of you who don't know, I have a part-time job that's completely flexible on my own schedule. I love it, 20 to 30 hours a week. Doesn't interfere with YouTube. Anyways. So in the last week, I was told I was taking over another department as the head, and granted, like this apartment only has two people. I am the head of my own department, but I am the only person in that department, and I knew at some point they would add like a person under me, and then there'd be a few people, but we'd kind of slowly work it in. I didn't expect to like take over a whole brand new department at the same time as it's like, okay, you know, you're gonna be figuring it out. This hasn't existed before. And you're now gonna build it up with these two employees have, that have no experience in this. And uh, your only experience is that half of what you do also kind of touches in this department. And I'm like, yeah. I started this job in January, knowing that maybe people, I'd be managing people in July. I wasn't expecting to find out in the same week and start building out processes this quickly. Graham's always telling me, you know, you deserve it. <laughs> You're not just being handed stuff. They wouldn't just here manage these people if they didn't think you were capable of handling it. Which logically, I'm like, that makes sense. But the imposter syndrome and whatever in me is like, you don't deserve it. Everybody's like, yeah, you totally are ready for it. And the little, that little imposter syndrome in me is like, mm-mm. Mm -mm, you're gonna fail. <laughs> uh, I hate it. Those like imposter syndrome thoughts like get to me every once in a while anyways and I didn't really fully understand with Jack where he would talk about that because every once in a while like, I'd get a few comments that were like oh you know your channel people only watch you because of Graham and like every once in a while it'd get to my head and then now I'm at the point where like a hype over a channel like like mine uh, if people were just really excited to see more of Graham would have died off a year for after it was created, 100%. Since I'm like a year and four months into making content, year four months, five months into making content, and a lot of the times it doesn't even have Graham in it, but it does really well, I kind of just have stopped believing any of that. Even my imposter syndrome with that wasn't really bad. Like this one, I really, really have that feeling with it. And uh, I'm starting to understand where Jack in that interview said, you know, I get I struggle between thinking I'm underpaid or getting imposter syndrome and I'm one or the other. And right now I'm really relating to the half of it with the imposter syndrome. I okay. I scared a little cinnamon 
bun. She was a cinnamon bun and she got scared. I'm so sorry. All right, now we are gonna be using the Skin Magician Vitamin C Serum. If you guys don't know what vitamin C does, it helps protect your skin from premature aging and just helps stimulate the production of collagen. Ba, ba, ba. Fun fact, if you ever move to Vegas, um, almost every single neighborhood has an HOA, and uh, how that was explained to us is that there's so many uh, eccentric people who come to Las Vegas and like to do eccentric things, they're home, so that's why the HOAs exist. I watch a lot of r slash, and so I've heard a lot about like HOAs and stuff. All right, from what? Like, we've never had an issue with our HOA. But like, even our pool that got put in the backyard, I don't even think there was any headache on, on that. They just were like, all right. Also, if you want to know why you don't wear long sleeves while doing skincare, this, this is why. Next, we're going to use my Jade Roller, which is great for massaging and just draining out the lymph nodes in the face. I think it's the lymph nodes. I can't remember off the top of my head, but it's great for just stimulating blood flow as well. Grams been trying to get into skincare, he's trying, uh, but he does not like the feeling of lotion, and he only likes to use silicic acid pads and calls that having um, moisturized skin. <laughs> if it was hyaluronic acid, oh heck yeah, that is hydrated skin. Yeah, silicic acid is not hydrating, and he's always like, oh, you know, I use that, those are my hydrating face pads, I'm like, they're, they're not. He's like, well, I don't have dry skin afterwards. I'm like, cause it just, it cleans it off. It doesn't do anything to actually hydrate. He's been trying to get into having sunscreens more and I have my sunscreen that he really likes. Next up on our list is actually a new product for me, which is the Ordinary's Hyaluronic Acid. Hyaluronic Acid is great for hydrating the skin. Again, I'm really big on hydrating my skin out here in the desert because that tends to be the thing that makes my skin break out. Okay, I'm gonna start off with four drops of the Hyaluronic Acid. This is new, so I haven't used it before. Oh my God, I love the feeling. Graham's gonna hate it though. Also, I want to do a video with him, like doing my skincare with my boyfriend. What do you think? I did not grab enough for the neck. This is really thick and goopy. I'm surprised. I was not expecting that. Next, we are going to use the CeraVe Daily Moisturizing Lotion. This is like my favorite lotion. It works really well with my skin and doesn't cause it to break out. If you're looking for good skincare products, I highly recommend CeraVe. When you're letting your skin age, you're pretty much not gonna be able to undo it. Like you can't, the only thing you can do is slow down the aging, which inevitably your skin's never gonna look, for me, my skin's never, isn't gonna look 22 for the rest of my life and I accept that. But if I can keep it looking 22 for a few years longer, if I can keep it looking five to 10 years younger than it actually is, I will do everything in my power to do that. Do you see those products that are like, oh, we'll reverse wrinkles. You might be able to reverse a little bit of fine lines with some exfoliation stuff. But you're not, that'll be temporary. The only thing you can really do with skincare is slow down the aging process. You are never going to be able to fully stop it. So next we are going to be using my Skin Magician Daily Protection Mineral Sunscreen that is tinted. I never wear makeup, but I do wear a tinted sunscreen. I really, really, really like this one. And I like Skin Magician a lot. She's a small brand. Um, if you can't tell, most of my stuff is hers. And she also is my esthetician. So if you want to check her out, I'll link her down in the description. But I highly recommend her stuff. If you're looking for a good sunscreen and like cruelty free, non um she has a whole bunch of different little things on there. I can't remember, but it's cruelty free. I think it might be vegan too, if I recall correctly. Oh, reef friendly. So it's not like, you know, killing stuff in the Great Barrier Reef, which is good. All right, guys, that was my skincare. Thanks for doing this get ready with me. Uh, I am hoping to do another one of these soon. And as always, don't forget to smash the YouTube algorithm for the like button. Don't forget to subscribe to the smash button. Um, if you want to see more of these, let me know in the comments down below. And with that said, don't forget to